Well, just so you know, I drive a mid-sized SUV. The kind of SUV you can throw all your junk in the back of. Don't you like those? You just throw it in there, out of sight, out of mind. And occasionally I have to go on trips with this. I was north of L.A. on a little trip and um, realized something about my vehicle. Well, I knew it had the power lift gate. I was so glad when I got the car that it had that little fob. You know, you push the button and it goes beep, 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 and the, 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 the lift gate comes up by itself. And then you push it again, and uh, it goes beep, 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 and it goes down most of the time. Uh, and I realized that when I was north of L.A. on this trip, and I had gone and cleared it out before the trip, thrown my suitcase, my briefcase in the back, and I clicked my little button to close the lift gate, and I heard it go beep, beep, beep. So I turned around, went to the side of my uh, driver's door there, got in the car, and sped out of my parking space only to hear my luggage and my briefcase bouncing in the parking lot, tumbling, with people around watching, which was the worst part of it. Of course, I'm dressed, you know, fairly nice, having to get out there and actually ruined one of my cases. And so it was an expensive and embarrassing little, uh, just a little lesson to learn. And that is when I hit that little button now on the key fob there, I'm always careful not only to hear the signal that it's coming down, but stand there and, and make sure it comes down, particularly when I have stuff in the back that I don't want flung through the parking lot of wherever I'm at. I, I want to make sure that it's closed. That's important before I jet off. I thought of that when I was studying the passage that we've come to here in Luke chapter 16, beginning in verse 19, because it's a passage that I read and I thought, oh man, this is going to be a tough one to preach. But I realized it's a good one to preach because it's one of these passages that calls you to make sure that things in your life are buttoned up and that you are where you need to be with God because it underscores one of the fundamental doctrines of the Christian life. And that is that 100 years from now, you and I are going to be in one of two places and only one of two places, and it won't be here. You're going to either be in a place of eternal blessing and satisfaction and joy or as the Bible repeatedly says, and this passage specifically says, you'll be in a place of retribution and punishment because of your sin. And that's the reality. And of course you think, well, I want to make sure that I've got my sins forgiven and I'm right with God and I, I dwell with God in eternity and I have all the things that he's promised in his word that are for my good. I want all those things. And I'm saying, well, you need to do more than just... Uh, press the button and hear the, the beeps. I mean, you've got to make sure it's not just about walking an aisle or praying a prayer or, you know, thinking you've been to church or whatever it might be that gives you a, an assurance. There needs to be a look at Scripture in terms of what it takes to make sure your life is buttoned up with God. 